So we're going to start by first navigating to Microbe Trace to show how uh, we load files into uh, Microbe Trace to visualize them. So first we're going to open a normal browser. As we've indicated, you can use uh, Firefox, but, but we've um, developed it for Chrome and are most comfortable advising um, users to use Chrome. So um, the first thing that we'll do is navigate to the URL. Um, there's two ways to get here, um, but ultimately the direct address is microbetrace.cdc.gov. When you navigate to that page, you'll be uh, greeted with a license agreement that basically um, it, uh, says use at your own risk um, and use the tool as is. Um, and you accept those terms and you're um, allowed to then layer on the data that you have um, collected. So we'll click Add Files in the bottom left corner. And um, we'll be prompted with a normal um, Add File prompt. And so I'm going to add the two file types that we went through briefly um, during the introduction, which is a node list and an, uh, and an edge list, or the list of individuals that are in the data set. Um, and we'll call that a node list. You can see I've selected the node button here off to the right. Um, for each file, you'll need to indicate where the IDs are that are relevant to that file type. So for a node list, we really only need to know what the actual unique ID is for each individual. Um, it doesn't need to be called ID. Many times it's got some other name instead of an ID, and so we wanted to be able to support the ability to just pick from a dropdown which ID was most relevant. Um, so here it's called ID, and I'm just going to select that. For the edge list, or the list of contacts between persons, we need to tell it who person A is and who person B is. Or um, in, in the uh, terminology of, of network science, it's the source is person A and the target is person B. And we don't pay any um, reference to the fact that it's a source or target of infection. These are just terms that are used in network science to indicate who is person A and who is person B when they're connected by a line. So here um, I've told it ID A is the source, ID B is the target. And then if you have some metric indicating distance between those two individuals, you can select it here. In this case, because we're only um, showing a link between person A and person B, we don't actually have a distance. Um, and so we'll say none and then hit launch. So we've loaded two file types. And again, I want to be clear um, that we're loading files. We're not uploading files. So the files stay exactly where they were on your computer when you first connected them. Um, and so there's really no movement of anything by using uh, microbe trays. Mm -hmm.